Good morning. Have you ever wondered about why or how, or how chemical uh, properties function and like make everyday products work the way they do? In specific, have you ever wondered about how glue works? I mean, we've been working with it since elementary and many of us have had very bad mishaps with it. Um, today we will, we will be de demonstrating just that. We will be working with borax which is a laundry detergent booster, and also a polyvinyl acetate, or glue. Before I go on, I will define two uh, terms. Non-covalent interactions, which I'm sure you have learned about in class, but just in case you weren't paying attention, uh, it is basically uh, interactions between molecules that do not involve sharing electrons. Another, hydrogen bonds, are basically non-covalent interactions between positively charged hydrogen atoms and or negatively charged other atoms. As we add borax and polyvinyl together, they will uh, create these non-covalent bonds. More specifically, they will uh, create hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are quite weak and they break very easily. This explains why slime is slime and not a brick. Because as you pick up slime, it's very viscous and it is not compact. And so today, hopefully, I will be making slime. My bowl and a uh, eight ounce can or bottle of Elmer's glue. Which I add in the bowl. Also, I'll add six ounces of water, and I'll mix these two together, stir together. After stir, uh, in a separate cup, I'll add a teaspoon of borax to a half cup of hot water, and I'll stir this. And once, it, once it's done stir, once I'm done stirring it, uh, can I get a volunteer? Thank you. I'll have you add it very, very slowly as I stir the glue. Add it to the glue as I stir. And once it sticks to the um, spoon, I'll take it out and I'll knead it as she adds it. And once it's all in, uh, I'll have you sit down. Uh, once it's all in, I'll knead it until all the hydrogen bonds have formed between the borax and the polyvinyl acetate. And then, uh, can I get another volunteer? Thank you. I have uh, packages of slime that everyone can play with, so uh, if I could have a volunteer hand those, pass those out. Everyone gets one. And then I'll... Uh, And as I need this, as you play with it, you'll realize that it's very viscous. And the reason that you can play with it and it's not a brick is because of these hydrogen bonds. They're very weak. They're very weak. And which is why they why it's slime and not compact, why it doesn't stay there. And so um, as you play with it, I hope you can realize that um, uh, chemistry is interesting even outside of uh, the lab. And even though we do not need or want to make slime every day, uh, this demonstration should show that there are many uses of household items. And chemistry has everything to do with it. Examine, explore. And experiment with everything, every day items that you use. I mean, why not? It'll make your life way more interesting.